So the traditional way that sleep apnea was uh, diagnosed is that people would come into a facility, they would be hooked up to about 25 different sensors, and a t sleep technician would monitor them during their sleep and sometimes record it. I've always wondered about that. It, yeah. it seems to me like it's hard to fall asleep in that setting. We recognize that that's not how you normally sleep at home. So many people are nervous about falling asleep in the sleep lab, and generally it turns out okay. Good. We don't need eight hours worth of sleep, even with a couple hours of sleep. You get the data. We get the data. But the newer thing, so it's not newest because it's been out for five or ten years or so, is now doing testing in the home. So we have a device that we can give to people and they put it on themselves at night before they go to sleep. Very simple, band around the chest, that lets us know when you're breathing in or out, oxygen probe on the finger, and then basically a, a cannula or a plastic tube in the nose and that measures the airflow. And you put it on and uh, you bring it back to us the next day. Well, heck, that's a lot easier. Yeah. So, you know, patients really like that. Um, it's much more convenient. It's probably much more like they're normally sleeping at home, which is really helpful. So um, there are downsides to that kind of test. For example, we call it a home sleep test, but I can't tell if somebody's sleeping or not. It's really just to look at their breathing. But for most people, when we're just thinking about sleep apnea, it's, it's a good test.